Hello everyone, Anthony Vasecki of Scratch Golf Academy. I'm here today to do a couple golf drills using this Dyna ball right here. I know I did some with it in the past, but we're just gonna take it a little bit further today so you can get a little more exercises using it. The first one that I'm gonna do is gonna help with internal rotation of your hip and as well as leg drive and just strengthen your legs and your lower body as well. Also working some rotation in your thoracic spine and that is going to be a lunge back with a lunge forward. And then we're gonna add rotation to it. So I'm gonna demo the first one. If I'm standing right here in a normal stance, I'm going to first lunge back. So when I lunge back, I'm going to rotate over the leg that's still in front. Then I'm gonna come forward and rotate over that leg. And I'm gonna go through this motion 10 times. And then I will switch my legs and start on the other side. So we'll actually be doing 20 of these forward and back. I'm gonna show you from the side and I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides for you. So I'm going to go over the lead leg, step forward and over the new lead leg. So again, to see that, I'm going to rotate over the lead leg, forward, over the lead leg. Okay, so that first exercise is lunge back, lunge forward with rotation. For the next one we're gonna do is gonna help get weight down into the ground and it's just gonna help with some slams. So we're gonna be violently moving. It's, I mean, you really wanna do this one with some power, with some violence. You really wanna slam it into the ground because what we're working on here is that ability to rotate through your hips and move something with weight at high speeds, grab it and go back the other way. So we're just working on really using a lot of rotation while also slamming and putting power into the ground. So for this one, we're gonna go up, slam it, catch it right away, slam it down again. Now, if you're on a rubber floor, be careful when you're using these Dyna balls, because the rubber floor, it's gonna bounce back up a little bit harder. I'm on turf, so it dampens the slam and allows me to catch it without flying up to my face. So just remember, if you're on a rubber floor, you'll probably be catching it about here instead of down here because of the dampening. So again, up, turn, grab it, up, over your head, turn, slam. Okay, so if you notice, I'm rotating through my hips like this on each one. I'm up on the ball of my feet. Okay, so again, slam, slam. All right, so what we're doing there, working rotational velocity really fast. Now for the last one. Um, I really like this one just to try to teach people when they're starting that downswing and they're really firing their hips towards the target to get their hands to drop so that they're not coming out this way and coming over the top and getting either steep or um, coming across it too much and generating a slice. And it also kills your power. As you can see, these get my heart rate up a little bit too. So for this one, I'm gonna go to the top like I did when I was doing the side to side slams. I'm gonna go above my head and I'm going to slam it down behind me just like this. So I'll show you from a face on first. I'm gonna take the ball up above my head and I'm going to start that downswing and slam it and turn away, okay? So again, you can start down here as well. Take it up, slam it and turn away. I hit my foot on that one. Luckily it's a Dyna ball so it won't break. And then again, we're gonna go up, slam it and turn away, okay? So we're trying to get our hands to drop really, really fast. I actually had a problem when I'm hitting my driver with my arm coming out here, and every time I went to Adam for a lesson, he would always try to make me feel like I'm hitting my shoe, so at least I did something right with this ball, he'll be proud. Um, and from down target line, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come up so you can see it, and I'm gonna turn and slam there really hard, so I'll do it in full speed. Okay, again, up, and leave it behind and you get let your hips ro roll through. So those are three drills using a Dyna ball to help with some power and rotation through the spine and some of that helping yourself get down in that ground force, allowing your hands to drop down for the golf swing. So again, that last one, so you can get down and get your hands through uh, for golf. All right, so try these drills, hit the like and subscribe, and we'll keep getting you more using all different apparatuses and tools to be able to make your golf game better.